It is time for another episode of Brawl News. Of course, doing my job here a little bit, everyone. If you guys have been enjoying the Brawl News episodes as of recently, or just any of my other content, it would do me a solid if you would consider subscribing. Thank you guys for the continued support. Absolute freaking legends. Legends who are better at charging their devices than me. Starting things off here today with some oh-so-amazing news. Taking a look at a tweet from Supercell here, Aloku, or August in Finnish, is a time of inspiration. We've returned from summer break with our batteries recharged, discussing new ideas and creating new content with fresh perspectives. As summer ends, the start of autumn is more solemn as we focus on the work ahead of us. So we should all know this by now if you guys have been playing Supercell games for some time or just watch my videos every now and again because we discuss it quite often whenever this time of year rolls around but that is the Brawl Stars dev team and dev teams across all of Supercell end up going on a month-long break because of Finnish law but as you can see from the tweet it appears that they are finally coming back from their month-long break hopefully they enjoyed their vacation and feel recharged and rejuvenated to tackle more developments in Brawl Stars. I feel like whenever we come around to this time of the year things get a little bit more slower inside of Brawl Stars and it's for a good reason the dev team takes a month off but you do have to give props to them that we actually get this update that we just came off of and it's kind of like not missing a beat you know what I mean we got the content from the brawl pass and hopefully another update here coming shortly soon but it feels good that they're back I can't wait to see what they come up with next for the next update moving along moving along to probably the most exciting news here today two weeks ago we ended up making a video highlighting when I thought it would make sense for these hype free rewards to come out right around the corner celebrating the 10th anniversary of Clash of Clans. The free goodies we have left to claim at this point is of course the amazing Barbarian King Bullskin, by far in a big way, one of my favorite Bullskins in this game to this date. It is so, so good. And then finally, the Barbarian pin with some really, really stellar animations that was first showcased in the Brawl Talk, which you guys can take a look here at. Now, in that video, we had guessed that it would make sense for these free goodies to come out August 1st, seeing that past celebrations of the Clash of Clans anniversaries were always celebrated on August 1st or announced August 1st and it appears we didn't get it today but we have some exciting news things are going to be starting tomorrow the information that I can share with you guys here today is that we have an upcoming week-long event to celebrate this 10-year anniversary for Clash of Clans more information will be officially public about it tomorrow during this week-long event of course we'll be getting that Barbarian King Bull the pin as well as a really hype challenge with some good progress rewards as well as a free spray but if I were to give my best guess for the fun of it seeing that I'm assuming we're gonna be getting this information tomorrow hey it's fun sometimes just to try to predict to see if it comes true but based on previous events and stuff like that I'm assuming that once the actual week-long event to celebrate this 10-year anniversary starts is when we can pick up these free rewards on the very first day I doubt they would like stagger the rewards but hey you never know so guys it seems like we've been waiting a very long time but but it looks like we are finally going to be able to pick up this free skin and pin tomorrow, potentially. But on top of that, before we move on, I want to give you guys some additional information on this challenge to celebrate the anniversary as well, starting August 3rd. This fun challenge is going to be live in game until Monday, so we have plenty of time to participate and have fun with it, and I'm assuming that's when the actual event or this week-long event is going to be ending as well. It's going to be a nine-win challenge, so a little bit more laxed if you ask me on the game modes, heist, hot zone, as well as gem grab, specifically on heist to start it off rolling rumble on hot zone the second map open zone and then on gem grab to wrap up the last three games is on royal flush the rewards that you guys can come to expect are star points tokens as well as three big bro boxes and then the final piece of resistance the best thing at the end the spray specifically dedicated to this clash event so yeah super super exciting we finally have confirmation as to when this fun stuff is coming out around the corner as well as hey you guys thought I would get away without saying this at least once in this video. Free is always good, baby. Come on. Next, switching gears here quite significantly to an ongoing topic that we've been discussing from time to time here on this channel, and that is the crazy stuff happening with Clash of Clans celebrating the 10-year anniversary. As you guys can see, the profile has changed yet again. <laughs> now, what I wanted to share with you guys about this that I found really, really interesting is there was an announcement of an AMA starting tomorrow. Actually, at the point that I'm recording this video right now is going 
going on right now. So I'm assuming at the time that you see this video, it's probably going to be over, but it's specifically with one of the original Clash founders here, this individual, which you guys should know my head is kind of exploding what to think about all this craziness happening with Clash of Clans. For the longest time, I thought that this was just kind of like an alternate reality, some sort of storyline that has been happening. But I feel like now I've been seeing so much stuff that it's like, is this actually real or not? But as you guys can see, we're taking a look at a photo from one of the original founders from some time ago. But the tweet that came out to announce the start of the AMA, we have a more recent photo of the same person, much, much older now. So it's like, is this stuff real? Are we talking about a different alternate dimension or an alternate universe here? Or is this actually something that happened? It's so bizarre and so Star Park-esque. I just assumed that this was fake, but is it? I don't know. I feel like I would have heard of this crazy, huge pop culture clash event or significant thing that happened in the world? Or is it that they're just hiring this guy once again, the person that appeared in that film way, way back in the day and used him for this AMA? I have no idea, dude. My brain is jumbled. Next up, moving along to some additional information about Otis's second star power. As you guys can see, we have some upcoming events here for monthly finals starting August 6th and more events lasting until August 14th. Now, historically, it feels like the Brawl Stars dev team has tried to get out full builds for brawlers before these events. We saw the same thing happen for Bonnie where they sped up the normal track record of how long they wait for the full build to come out for a brawler after they're actually released in the game. It was like cut in half for Bonnie so we could have the full build for her for the last monthly finals, I believe. So I'm assuming if they want to do that again, that Otis's second star power will be coming out before August 6th. But if not, hey, who knows? But then to wrap up this video here, here today. I wanted to highlight some offers that literally I just came in contact with here today and I'm assuming you guys all saw quite a bit now if you don't own all the new skin brawlers but take a look at some of these offers. Every single brawler coming out with the BT21 skins are offering a skin plus the brawler. So of course you guys all already know I'm a big big fan of cursed accounts so whenever offers pop up like this that allow us to make brand new ones I like to highlight from time to time and if you guys didn't no, I feel like right now is the best time to make a cursed account if you guys want a bizarre thing. You can utilize this Brawl Pass to get Colt, a trophy road brawler, which are always the most cursed if you ask me. So right now is kind of the time if you guys are interested in cursed accounts. But yeah, everyone, that's just about it here for this video today. A little bit more of a lighter episode of Brawl News, but some significant stuff coming out right around the corner that I don't want you guys to miss out on, specifically those free things. It's going to last for some time, but just to be sure that you guys don't miss out on those things because you all know free is always good. But yeah, everyone, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to slap a like on it. Really, really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios and take care.